I'm sorry. I was out of line. truth is, I was wondering what it would be like to kiss you for a very long time. Is something happening between us? Well, if it is, tonight is definitely not the night to find out. Oh, Amanda. Grant, you both know the person you want in your arms tonight is Vicky, and I don't do stand-ins. You're right. You're far too special for that, and I don't mean to treat you like a substitute. I understand. You deserve far better than that. I hope you're not angry with me. No, of course not. I think I'd better leave. I think I need to spend some time alone. Would you let me walk you home? I, I think it'd be best if you walk me to the gate. Okay. Gate. Deal. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you so long. Oh, where are the lights? Excuse me, don't turn. Not working. Maggie, you here? Yeah. Yes, Jenna. Yes, honey, he's right here. Jenna. Thanks. Hey, Jen, what's going on? Thank goodness for call forwarding. Hi. What, what's going on? What's the matter? Um, I don't have time to explain, but could you get over to KBAY right away? Right now? Yeah, there's something going on here. It's very, very important, and uh, it'll be easier for me if I have you by my side. Sure. Um, yeah, I'll be right there. Thanks. Hurry, okay? Uh, bye. I gotta go. I gotta get over to the... Say goodbye to Maggie. You right? Yeah, I'll, I'll come up. Thanks. Maggie, what are you doing? Call me a closet romantic, but I think that if a woman is going to get proposed to, that she deserves the moment to react. I never had that. Kelsey, I laid everything on the line for you. I told you exactly how I feel, and you make it sound like you could care less. That's not true. I do care. You do? You care? Well, tell me, what does that mean to you? You know what it means. It means that I was so crazy to please you that I baked a dozen awful pies and then I went to a bakery and bought a dozen more. It means that I was so nuts about you that I lied to you. I humiliated myself. I got in a plane and flew 800 miles to be with you when I didn't even know if you ever wanted to speak to me again. It means that... It means that I never wanted to stop making love to you that night. Because for a few hours, my life was absolutely perfect. And I never wanted it to end. That's caring. It's funny, it sounds an awful lot like love to me. Well, it's not love, John. Caring is what people do when they're, when they're starting to fall in love. Oh, well, just tell me, where does that fall into place here? Is that uh, just before infatuation or after like? Uh, all I, I am know. trying to do is explore our feelings. And all I'm trying to do is act on them. But you have to tell me what you want. Well, maybe what I wanted was for you to sit across the table for me. Maybe what I wanted was a bouquet of flowers. What I want is for you to be honest about why you never really proposed to me. Well, you seem to have all the answers. Suppose you tell me. Let's face it, John, you were scared. Scared of what? Going out on a limb. You put the ring in a piece of pie because it was safe. You made me come to you and tell you how I felt. You never had to lay it on the line. I did. You're the one who's scared, Kelsey. You were scared of your relationship with Jamie, and you attacked him. And now you're scared of me, and you're doing the same thing. I went to Maine to find you, and that is something that I will regret until my dying day. Well, in your own words, it was fun while it lasted, but you know those one-night stands, they never add up to a whole hell of a lot. Get out. Get out! Leave me alone. Consider yourself alone. And take this with you, because I don't love you! <laughs>
can't even tell you how many times I dreamt of us together like this. When I was in Switzerland, one time I even thought I saw you in my room. I reached out to touch you. Yeah. Like this? That's when I knew I had to escape. You were always in my thoughts, Ryan. And now you're here. You're real. <sighs> We have tonight, and we have tomorrow. What did we do to deserve another chance like this? <laughs> it was the moon and the stars. They were watching over us. They heard the voices in our hearts, and they answered. kid, I used to sneak down here and go skinny dipping. It's a little dangerous, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but I loved the risk. There was something very <laughs> sexy about skinny dipping. Not if you're alone. Does that bother you, being alone? No, I shouldn't. Well, I just know that when I was your age, uh, I just knew the most important thing to me was having a boyfriend. Well, sure, I, if the right guy comes along. I, I mean... That's what you want, too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you have a boyfriend in San Francisco? <sighs> oh, I've had my share. But they always want one thing. It depends who you're attracted to. I just know I was not very smart when I was your age. Save it, okay, Amanda? Rachel already gave me the condom speech. I know how not to get pregnant and or dead. No, Maggie, no. I was talking about how not to get a broken heart. Oh, do you have a good solution? Well, I believe that sexual attraction is very important. In fact, it was the reason why Sam and I got married, and it is also the reason why our marriage broke up. Well, you don't have to worry about me because I'm not getting hitched. Well, you know, things start to happen, and then What are you, you... trying to say? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that wait for the magic. Wait until it's right. And when it happens, Maggie, believe me, you will know it. And then you can give your body and your heart to someone very special. And it'll all be worth it. Kevin Anderson received this death threat today. It's anonymous, and we've decided that we're going to put out a news bulletin that will air tonight and tomorrow. Honey, this is probably from Carl. You can't, you can't do that. It's too dangerous. Carl Hutchins? Are you, are Listen, you this is me? very important for me, okay? I have to do this. That's why I wanted you here. And uh, we've notified the police. Okay. They're going to keep their eye out on Carl. It's just that this is for Kevin and me. He oh. wants to do this. Okay, anything? Matt just called and he said, go ahead. Great. Jenna, you're only 30 seconds, so get ready. Great. Fine. Okay. okay, I just need this. Thanks for coming. Right. Right. You'll be great. Kevin. Okay. Sure. How do you feel? You nervous? Angry. Yeah, I understand. Listen, um, if you want to back out, I'll understand. We don't have to... I'm not going to knuckle under to these threats, Jenna. But, Kevin, this is Carl we're talking about. We can make him angrier. Good. Yeah, right, uh... Then when he makes his move, I'll get him. Okay, quiet, everybody. Places in five, four, three... This is a special news bulletin coming to you from KBAY Bay City. I'm Jenna Norris. Today, our assistant district attorney, Kevin Anderson, received a death threat. Mr. Anderson is being considered for this city's chief prosecutor position. And Mr. Anderson is hoping that whomever sent this will be watching and has asked for this time to respond. Kevin? Thank you, Jenna. While investigating a case at Topps Restaurant this afternoon, I received this death threat. Now, at the moment, neither I nor the police know who sent it. But I will not be frightened or intimidated by these threats. And I will pursue the job of chief prosecutor. And if I am appointed to that position, I will use all of my clout and manpower to send a message to the criminals of this city that they will have to deal with me now. And their days are numbered. Furthermore, if this is in any way an attempt to pressure me to drop certain cases that I'm presently working on, it won't work. I will pursue them with more vigor and more energy than ever before until the criminals, till the ones responsible, are brought to justice. 
Thank you. If anyone out there has any information that may lead us to the person who sent this threat, please call 555-INFO. We thank you and we promise that your call will remain strictly confidential. Thank you and have a nice day. And we're out. How do you feel? Better. Good. Listen, I just want you to know that I think you're really brave and I, I hope we did the right thing. I think we did. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, Kevin, what is, what is going to happen now? Well, when whoever did this makes his move, we'll get him. Whoever did this? You don't think it's Carl? Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Even Carl. 